It's time. It's time for you to become him. Become the man that you've always wanted to be. I know you've watched a ton of self-improvement videos. You've seen what other men are teaching you how to do. They're teaching you prescriptions. They're teaching you what you should be, all the different steps that you need to get to. But the reality is that will never allow for you to become the man that you want to be. Instead, what that's going to do is it's going to make you a copy and paste version of who everybody else is. But you have an image. You have a vision of who you want to be in the future. And that may not even align with the people that you're watching on the internet. It may not even align with me. But I'm going to teach you how to get to who you want to be. Not who everyone else is telling you who to be who you want to be. So the first thing you need to understand is that you need to have a vision. See, seven years ago, seven years ago, I had a vision of who I wanted to become. And the person that I wanted to become had a completely different frequency than who I am now. The person I wanted to become, the person who I still want to become, is completely different. They move in different circles in different ways that I'm doing now. They do business in different ways that I'm doing now. They do higher levels of business. They live in a completely different reality than what I'm living now and what I was living in before. But I'm working towards that. And that's what you need to start realizing. You need to shift your identity today. You can become him today. You do not need a prescriptive set of rules on how to actually do this. You need to have a vision. You need to clearly, because your mind is everything. Everything that your mind conceives it creates in reality. That is what your reality becomes. It may take one year, it may take 10 years, but you are on the journey of progressively getting to that person. I am currently on the journey of getting to that person. I'm not, I'm not him yet because I know who him is in my head. And who I am now is just a stepping stone to get there. So it's a long-term process. It's a long-term thinking game. Most of you, you wanna do all of this stuff in a day. You can become that person a day from your mannerisms, from what you like, from what you dislike, from your values, from what you see yourself to be, your confidence. Everything can change today, but the end product is going to take time. That's a caveat. So once you have that vision, because seven years ago I had that vision, you need to actually visualize it and internalize it because you have to then be able to transport yourself into the frequency of that person. You have to understand this. Now we're going to get into higher level concepts. Everything is frequency. Everything is frequency. The frequency that you're in now is not conducive to the frequency of who you need to become to get all of the things that you want, to be the person that you want, to have all of the accomplishments that you want in life, to make the impact on the world that you want. You need to change who you are now. You need to shift that frequency. So this is how you're going to shift that frequency. I want you right now to imagine yourself as that guy. I want you to imagine yourself as him. Imagine the ultimate version of yourself. Who is he? What does he like to eat? Yes, what does he like to eat? Taste the food that you're eating. Maybe you like fine dining and you like going and eating steaks at, at high level restaurants, at, at big restaurants. I want you to start visualizing the, the senses of what you're going to feel. So feel what, you're, what the taste is going to be like. Right? Go granular. Is it salty? Is it not salty? What's the environment that you see? What do you feel? Is there a, a breeze in the air? Are you in a fine dining restaurant where you have to put on a suit or you have to wear something that is, that is of luxury? Right? You have to be able to imagine this and vividly see this. Who is he? What kind of car does he drive? Some of you are, I get it, you might think it's materialistic, but it's important to understand all of the aspects of that person that you want to become. Do you want to, do you want to drive a Rolls Royce? Do you want to drive a Maybach? Maybe you want to drive a Toyota. Maybe that's him for you. That's perfectly fine. It's all subjective, but I'm giving you things to think about. Think about who's the woman next to you, right? Who is the woman that's next to you that's going to accompany you as you are him? What does she look like? How does she treat you? How does she walk with you? Imagine yourself with your hands holding hers, walking down a road, walking down a lane, walking through a hall of terraces. Imagine that. What location are you in? Where do you want to live? Where does he live? Where does him live? Does he live in Thailand? Does he live in Romania? <laughs> does he live in Amsterdam? Does he live in Bangkok? Does he live in Singapore? What does that feel like? What does that look like? Start watching videos on where these environments are. Start to really visualize all of the aspects of who he is, 
what he does. How are his mannerisms when he sees someone? Is his back held up straight? All right? Does he shake people's hands consistently? Does he give eye contact everywhere? How is his energy? How do you feel? Do you feel powerful? Do you feel like you have the aura of power? When you're in this state, when you're imagining this person, I want you to do this every single day, not just this video. Every single day when you wake up, meditate on this. Literally sit quietly and just imagine all of the things that are going on around you. Because what's going to happen is when you engage all of your senses, when you engage your taste of the food that you're eating, when you engage your, your feelings, your touch, when you touch things, you touch the car, you, you touch the, the, the home that you're in, you touch the pond that you have in your home, the garden that you have, you touch, maybe it's you want a, a German shepherd, you want a, a bulldog, whatever it is, touch those things visually. Engage all of your senses because that's going to shift your frequency. The minute your frequency changes, you're going to feel it. Everyone's going to feel it around you and you're going to start to make the change. Your mind is going to start figuring out ways to be able to get that thing. So you need to be able to internalize that. What watch is he wearing? Does, do you like watch? Does him, the person that you want to become, like watches? Okay, what kind of watch does he like? Does he like a Patek Philippe? Does he like a, a Rolex? Does he like a specific type of, of, of shade glasses that he likes to wear? Does he like the Cartier glasses? The, who, what's his trademark? What other, what other hab, hobbies does he like? And by the way, every time you're imagining these things, you're literally imagining your senses engaging with these things. You're, imagine, you're imagining you taking off those glasses. You're imagining yourself putting them back on. You're imagining yourself picking them up in the store and observing them. How much money does he have? Yes, money matters. It's not all about materialism. It's all about access. Money gives access. Money gives freedom. Is he worth $10 million? Is he worth $100,000? Is he worth $50,000? I want you to think big, though. He's worth $10 million. Okay. Well, what does that feel like to have in his bank account? What does that feel like to have in your bank account? Because you are him. The thing is, you're, you're him in a different reality. That's the only difference between you and the person that you want to become. Him is that your realities are completely different. How you see life is completely different. You have to put yourself in that him's shoes, literally in his shoes. What shoes does he wear? Does he wear loafers? Does he wear Jordans? Does he, what does he wear? Imagine yourself putting those shoes on before you go out. Imagine yourself talking. Who's his friend group? Who does he like to have around him? Imagine those people. Because again, your mind will find ways to be able to get you the results that you visualize, that you imagine. That is how you shift your reality. That's how you shift your identity successfully. And you do this every day and you hold that frequency. You hold it in because that frequency is exactly where you want to be. That feeling that you have. Neville Goddard talked about this. He talks about having the feeling. The feeling is a secret. It's true. You have to feel this. Most of you, you're watching this right now, you've never actually felt who you want to become. You've only had vague images. You need to make it vivid. Look at your bank account in your mind and see the amount of money in your bank account that you want to have. Maybe it's a billion dollars. See it. What you also have to imagine is the person you want to become will also make a lot of sacrifices. See yourself making those sacrifices. Internalize that you will make those sacrifices. Maybe it's going out every weekend. Maybe This is where the, the prescription that self-improvement gives you is going to naturally be a part of you because you will know what it takes to be that person. Start watching people who you want to emulate. See how they move. See how they act so that they give you some level of parameter of who you want to become. Once you start to do that, you start to then analyze what you need to do to be able to get there. See his habits. What does he do when he first wakes up? Maybe he meditates. Maybe he takes a cold shower. It's all good if you take cold showers. Maybe he wakes up and he gets straight to work. Maybe he gets up and he goes to the nearest cafe, luxury cafe, to have coffee and hang out with the woman that he's next to, right? His first thing when he wakes up. Maybe he prays right away, right? Prays to God, prays to whoever it is that you believe in, right? You have to see that. You have to literally touch, feel, taste, know the feeling. And if it's hard for you to know the feeling, here's where I'm going to challenge you. Even if you don't have that much money, Go and experience luxury experiences. Go, not even just luxury. Go experience the things that you believe that you, your ideal version of yourself, that character, wants. 
period, point blank. If it's a watch, go to the watch store and try on the watch, feel the watch, see it. If it's a car, go test drive the car. If it's money, go experience, go be around people who have money so you can experience the feeling of having money. Invest in things. Invest in things even if it hurts your pockets because that's what's going to allow for you to understand how you should be thinking about money. I guarantee you the him that you want to be thinks about money completely different than how you think about money, which is why he's more successful at that point, at that frequency, at that in that dimension than you are currently. Everything is parallel realities. You literally have somebody who is just like you, exactly who you are now, in a different reality because they have a different frequency. So you need to be able to internalize this. You need to be able to literally etch this in your DNA of who you want to become. Every single day, you need to be doing this. This is an exercise, right? See vacations that you go on. What vacation does he go on regularly? Right? Does he go to Monaco all the time? Imagine, watch videos about Monaco. Visualize it. See yourself there. What kind of clothes does he wear? Again, see the garments. Is it linen? Feel the linen in your mind. Execute this and exercise your mind to be able to visualize and hold frequencies. That is literally a superpower that most men do not have because you're stuck in your current reality. You need to shift out, of, out to a different reality so that you can start to act the way that you need to act now to attract that reality to you. This is not spiritual woo-woo stuff, this is real. It doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter what faith you are. This is something that is practical. This is scientifically proven to work. Realities are real. Look up quantum physics. Look up quantum mechanics. We all have parallel realities of our exact same self living a completely different reality. And you need to be able to channel that through your senses, through your mind, through your visual, your mind's eye. You need to be able to do that to become him. You don't need all of these prescriptions. You don't need the latest look, looks maxing solution because you're going to innately do these things because him, who you want to become, maybe he's well-groomed. Well, now you have to start watching videos about, what, about grooming if you don't know, right? Learn how to give yourself a good taper, a good fade. Learn how to, give, learn, learn how to like line up your, your, your beard. Learn how to grow a beard. That's when you start using prescriptions to apply it to the reality that you've seen. But ultimately, the, the way that you act, the taste that you have, things that you like, you can start to do that now. The habits that you need to form to become that person, you can do that now. Most of you are going to look past this video and not understand it. You need to become him now. And it's very, very hard to do. It's very hard to do because you need to then exercise something that you've never exercised before, which is your mind's creativity. We're all from God. God is literally creativity. God created everything, if you believe in that. You can also do the same. He's given you the gift to be able to do the same. So what you see, you can achieve. You've heard that quote before, and it's true. I never believed this until I started applying it to my life. I saw myself here. I moved, I'd recently moved to Romania. If you guys have been following my channel, you know. I saw myself here. I saw myself in different areas. I looked up what I need to look up to see how it feels to be here. All the manifestation stuff works if you start to take action on your vision. That's all manifestation is. Masculine manifestation is what I like to call it. Masculine manifestation is seeing a vision, taking action, and knowing, reverse engineering that vision into what actions you needed to take to be able to get there. So if you want to manifest him, if you want to, from a masculine perspective, manifest him, visualize it the way that I just told you in vivid detail and start to reverse engineer all the actions he took to be able to get there all of the obstacles he went through to be able to get there. The thing is, you won't know what those obstacles are, but you're training your brain to come up with solutions. Your brain is the most intelligent superpower, supercomputer that you'll ever see. It's more intelligent than the, the phone screen that you have, the phone that you have. It's more intelligent than the laptop you have. It's more intelligent than anything. And you need to be able to channel that in and use it to your advantage. You're literally using very little capacity of your brain. Your brain has a full capacity that you're not even close to using 2% of. And you need to be able to start exercising this. This is how you become him. This is how you start to see life change for you. Your reality needs to change. How you see life needs to change. 
what your interests are in the present moment need to change. They need to match the new reality that you're looking for. And this can happen in a week, it can happen in a month, or it can happen in a year, it can happen in 10 years, but it will happen. And you'll know it'll happen because you constantly have that vision. That's how you don't lose motivation in the self-improvement game. Because you visually know who you want to become. And you're becoming that person every second of the day. Every second you're applying different things. How does he speak? Start to speak like that. He starts to enunciate himself. People like the way that he speaks. He speaks persuasive. You're going to start seeing persuasive people, reticular activating system. The more that you think about something, the more the patterns in your brain are going to see it in real life. It's the same if you've ever, if you ever fantasized about a car. Maybe it's a Rolls Royce. You'll, you'll start to see it somewhere. Maybe it's on the internet because maybe your hometown doesn't have it. You'll start to see it everywhere. Maybe it's a BMW. You'll start to see BMWs driving around you. Maybe it's a Mercedes. You'll start to see that moving around you. If it's a certain amount of money that you want, if you really internalize it, you see your bank account with that money, you withdrawing certain, certain amounts of money and that money going down a little bit and then going back up, you will, your mind will start to spot opportunities right in front of you to be able to do that. And obviously, I'm shameless plug, a great opportunity that's right in front of you to make money is building and monetizing your YouTube channel, your YouTube personal brand. I believe every man should have a YouTube personal brand because YouTube is king. YouTube is where everyone's attention is. That's where your attention is right now. So tap in the link in the description. I'm building out a school community to be able to help people because I was doing one-on-one -on -one coaching and I still am, but I want to be able to make this accessible to everybody at a price that's fair to myself and fair to you as well. So remember, tap into that link in the description. If you want to be on the waiting list, I'm launching this at the end of the month. And I will make an announcement at the end of the month that I've launched this. And it's going to change the lives of millions of men. I believe this. Millions of men will finally have the freedom that they want. Finally be able to have the infinite wealth vehicle that they deserve, that they, that they desire. All right? So like, comment, subscribe, share this with a friend. This is very powerful. This may not get a lot of views. But at the end of the day, I know it will change at least one person who watches this. Even if it gets a thousand views, I know at least one of those people are going to implement this and their lives are going to change. They're going to come back and comment under this that this has shifted their entire reality, that they're actually getting what they deserve. It worked for me and I know it will work for millions of people once they're aware of it. All right? So I appreciate you. Conquer yourself. Conquer your life. Conquer everything. Conquer the world. Conquer YouTube. Link is in the description. I appreciate you and I'll catch you on the next video.